The auger rig is commonly used in geotech and environmental drilling industries for both soil testing and groundwater investigations. The system shown is buggy mounted, but the same system can be mounted on trucks, tracks or skids, based on the nature of the terrain they'll be working in. These rigs are usually powered by deck mounted engines and are capable of extremely high rotational torque loads to the drill string. Due to the large surface area of the augers, these machines require significant energy in order to advance the hole. The support equipment is often self-contained or can include a separate vehicle which carries the supplies needed, including grouting materials. Due to the nature of this industry, operators may have numerous holes at one location, each of which may require grouting. Other equipment can include pressure washing equipment, needed to ensure no contamination occurs between holes or sites, as well as numerous other supplies required to perform the wide variety of drilling and monitoring operations characteristic of the auger rig. Auger sections are five feet long. The lead auger includes a pilot bit, which utilizes rotary cut action. The lead auger cuts the material, transferring the material up the flights of successive auger sections to the surface. No flushing media or drilling enhancements such as air, water or fluids are used. This ensures true representative samples are obtained. Additional auger sections are stored on the machine and added as required. It should be noted that working around rotating augers can be very dangerous. Extreme care should be taken to prevent loose clothing or equipment from becoming entangled in the auger sections. Auger bolts are used to secure the sections together. Continuous soil samples can be obtained through the entire length of the borehole with the use of the split spoon sampler. The spoon is advanced ahead of the auger to ensure an undisturbed sample. Six inch increments are marked off on the drill string. The standard penetration test uses either an automatic hammer or the cat head to lift a 140 pound hammer, which has exact travel of 30 inches. The number of blows required for penetration are recorded. The split spoon device then reveals a representative sample of the geology. The drilling and sampling continues until such time as the project engineer indicates that the monitoring well should be installed. Monitoring wells are installed with great care to ensure no physical contact with the supplies, protecting the integrity of the sample. Shown here is a section of the monitoring well flush joint casing. Note the black O-ring seal and fine slots which permit only water to enter the monitoring well. The annular space between the auger string and the well screen is filled with sand to ensure sediment-free samples. The remainder of the annular space is now grouted as the auger sections are tripped out. Monitoring wells can be completed either using a flush mount cover or with an above-ground protective casing. Both finishing techniques facilitate ongoing water sampling. 